What's up guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Suze Martinez and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make any camera strap into a peak design camera strap for just about $20, guys. All right guys, so I always wanted peak design straps, but I could never seem to find it a reasonable purchase at $60. It's annoying having to take the camera off the strap and having to go through these little circle, these little metal things. Super annoying, especially when you don't have the long nails for it. And I always wanted to get them, but again, 60 bucks, I always thought it was way too much money. The other day I was on YouTube and I came across this comment where somebody was talking about just buying the clips. I had never realized you could do that. So I went online, found them on Amazon, and I actually ended up getting for $20. Sadly enough, I just checked right now and it seems like they're unavailable, but on the Peak Design website, they seem to still be up for $20. I don't know about their shipping, but 20 bucks, it's still definitely a steal right now. All right, guys. So without further ado, let me just show you how the links come in and how you can just attach them to just about any strap. So I bought the links right off of Amazon and this is what I got in the mail. Uh, I have Prime, so I might as well take advantage of it. And yes, that is my box opener. I think it's the coolest one out there, to be honest. I was surprised that they actually put four links on these. So you're able to set up two cameras and then you get two strap adapters. I really don't know what they're called but that makes it so much easier. So if you have two bodies, which I think just about anybody that's trying to do this professionally or so should do it because you always need a backup camera. And this just makes it so much easier. So you don't have to go and spend another $20 just to go ahead and get the links. This way you can have your strap ready and have both bodies ready to go. So I had seen a video on YouTube where somebody had actually taken these little triangle things and the little black stuff, all of it, they had taken all of it off of their camera. I believe it was an a7 III and they mentioned that it was the new links. So apparently they made them thicker now and they were able to thread them right through the hole that's on the camera with floss, with dental floss, just to be exact. So I tried it and it was such a pain in the ass. I ended up taking both of the triangle things on both sides when I should have tried it first on one side because this ended up taking me at least 30 minutes just to try this thing with the floss and as you guys can tell it ended up not working the floss ripped in half so if anybody knows another hack or another way to do this definitely put it down below in the comments and if it if it's even possible maybe the a6400 has a smaller hole so it can't go through it so i i don't know to be honest so again this took me 30 minutes if you have an a64 don't try it with floss it doesn't work don't, don't take this triangle things because they're freaking hard to take off and put back on. Finally, I was able to thread the links right through the actual black triangles. And I didn't want that because now they are just dangling around. And if I'm shooting video, it's going to be really annoying. Black tape will probably fix it. But that was the whole point of being able to thread it right through the hole that sits right on the camera. Because that way, on the video that I had seen, the links do not shake. They just stand there. So when you're shooting video, you don't get that nasty clinking audio. Now I pulled out my Sony strap. I know I said I never use these, but for the purpose of this video, I thought it was ideal to use the actual camera strap that comes with your backpack. I don't plan on using it. I hate that it says Sony on it. I don't like showing that. I'm not gonna use this strap. I'm most likely gonna buy another one on Amazon or eBay because I don't like to be showing logos. Uh, I'm a little sketched out about that. Any strap will work. And here I wanted to use obviously the one that comes in the box to show you guys that it's really, really simple. It can really get attached to just about any camera strap. Now, yes, I was able to fit the links and it worked really, really good. What I really liked about this type of camera strap though, is that you can actually adjust it because the links does make it a little bit longer. Now I took these off and I pulled out my leather strap, which is the one I always use. But I, like I mentioned, it's really annoying to take the rings off, screw them on or whatever you call it. These things, I really hate these little circle rings, taking them off and on. That was the main reason why I got the links. And they were a pain in the butt to put them on because it's a little bit thick, but it was I was able to do it and these aren't that big. This strap is really small. Now, when I fitted this strap with the links and hang the camera on my neck, I actually realized that it's not gonna work that well because I can't adjust this strap. Like I mentioned, the Sony strap can get adjusted, but this one cannot. And the links make it a little bit way too long. Unfortunately, I will not be able to rock my leather strap, which was the whole purpose of getting these because I really like this strap and it's cheap and I already had it. I'm gonna have to buy another one where I can either adjust it or, or have it be smaller, but in the end, 
then I'm going to be paying $20 for these peak design links instead of dropping $60 for the whole set and getting a really ugly camera strap. Those $40 that I'm saving, I'm going to use those to buy the camera strap that I choose, the one that I want, and I can bet you I'll find one for around $10, $15 easy and I'm still saving money. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel as I will be uploading way more content on a weekly basis. I'm aiming for around two to three videos a week. We'll see how that works. And again, guys, any comments, questions, drop them down below. If you guys wanna check out my work, it is at World of Visuals and I'll see you on the next video.